everyone, it's Kate and welcome back to another episode of a studio vlog even though if we don't have a studio. Before everything, I just want to thank everyone because we are already monetized, so are the ads. In today's video, we will be packing some orders that are most likely to be delivered already to the respective owners. For this video was taken last January 28 and I'm trying to save every decent clip I've shoot in the past weeks for this episode. If you are here for the giveaway winners, you can skip ahead to the last part of this video but I would really appreciate if you watch the entire video first. Pero kung ayaw nyo, I didn't don't. Now let's pack some orders. Same process with my previous packing video, I checked my list for the orders, wrap it with some onion skin paper then secure it with a sticker. For additional protection, I'm placing a cardboard before sliding it into the pouch. Lastly, I label them with the last 6 numbers of the tracking number. So here you go, enjoy this 8 minute video of me packing on a ridiculously laid blanket for aesthetic purposes, yet you can still see the floor on the corners. Also, I noticed that a huge percentage of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to this channel, so if you want to see more of my contents, please don't hesitate to click that subscribe button and the notification bell as well.
Last week to buy a printer but since they're closed, we just tried the new milk to shop. Also, I was surprised to know that a Korean store exists in our place, so we tried this chocolate ice cream in a shape of a fish that I shared with my significant other because I was full after eating some nachos and quesadilla. I am supposed to buy a printer that day but they're closed leading to a date instead. I promised myself to buy my printer before January ends but since January 31 is a Sunday, I got my printer last February too. Sorry for the low quality footage cause I was excited to open as soon as I went home that day which is already around 6pm. It's an Epson L3110 which includes a scanner as well. Sorry I don't really know much about printers, I just know that I need a printer with a scanner. If you're wondering on where I print my products before, I have an aunt who has a printer whom I visit often in order to produce some of my products. I also designed a new business tag for the shop because I just feel like it. I learned that draft printing on a parchment paper is better than standard to limit the ink consumption which is perfect for papers with lower GSM like this. Here's a sample of our new business tags. I find them aesthetically pleasing in a minimalistic way. Let me also expose myself by printing my photos for my journal. I created a template similar to a photo strip where I can place three photos.
I'm using this daily journal from ABC which my significant other got it for me last year. I'm actually using two journals for this year. This and my bullet journal which I plan to keep minimal. While this journal is like a scrapbook slash diary slash photo keeper where I place anything I want. Sometimes I have blank pages due to tiring days where I forgot to update and I think that's okay. Journaling isn't supposed to be a strict responsibility you have to do every day. Instead, a notebook and where you can release your creativity and thoughts. Lastly, let's unbox some packages that came last week. This is my third box orders from papers from my attic on Shopee. She is currently on a vacation right now but I'll still place the link in the description. And yes, for everyone's information, I also buy these old novel pages. It's 100 pesos for 200 pages. I used to sell some of these too but I ran out of stock. I appreciate the fact that she includes numerous designs and paper sizes in one pack. Each item also includes these paper flakes as freebies. TikTok also made me buy one of these organizers in which you can store small items that are perfect for my stickers. And now the most awaited giveaway announcement. Once again, thank you for everyone who joined. I appreciate you all. So congratulations, B from YouTube, Mary Lourdes Bernabe from Facebook, and I create underscore underscore boy from Instagram. Please send me a message through FB or Instagram for the shipment. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in our next video.